Hello, Libra. All right, we are going to do a twin flame reading today. If you do not identify as a twin flame, it can just be whomever you're thinking about while you're watching this video, okay? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you would like to be entered to win a free personal reading, I give away one every week. To be um, eligible for that, you're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section down below. Hashtag twin flame, okay? Also, if you would like to book a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box below, along with some other useful information. I suggest you peruse that area. All right. So this is a general reading. It cannot and will not resonate for everybody. So take what resonates for you. Leave the rest. Check those other placements. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. Particularly Venus, because that is how we present in relationships. All right, so cross watchers welcome. Roles can be reversed. There is no gender in tarot. I'm going to put you on one side, your person on the other. Feel free to flip it around if you need to. And a lot of times we'll get a mix of both energies on both sides. Bottom of the deck. Seven of swords. All right, what's going on? Well, we've got the ace of wands and the ten of cups. Okay, we have the devil and the page of cups. I don't know why I laughed, but I did. We have the Five of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. We've got the Four of Wands and the Chariot. Okay. Intense connection. The Four of Cups and the Five of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. All right, Libra, we have Capricorn energy, Cancerian energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got all four suits on deck. Okay, let's unpack. Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups. I'm feeling a couple of things, so let's let's see what pans out here. Ace of Wands. What is this Ace of Wands? Well, it's a passionate new beginning, right? All of that, um, all of those leaves, you know, new growth. It's it's opportunities for expansion, opportunities for new beginnings. Six of Wands, somebody is ready to go after it. Somebody wants to win a brand new beginning with somebody. Is it you, Libra? All right, we do have the Ten of Cups here. What's this Ten of Cups? This could be, you know, certainly somebody dreaming of having the Ten of Cups with you or, you know, you dreaming of having the Ten of Cups with someone. What is this Ten of Cups? The Four of Swords. Somebody wants to heal a relationship and have the Ten of Cups with you. On their mind a lot. On your mind a lot. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, they really want to come towards you and fix this. What is this devil energy? What is this devil energy? What is a going on? He cracks me up. All right, the devil. What is this devil energy? The three of wands. I feel like the two of you are connected, whether you're in another relationship or not, there's no getting away from it, right? You're finally coming into, into focus, though, coming towards one another, coming together. Six of cups. Yeah, you're, you're going to be, there's, this is, this is a very intense connection. Okay. The devil can represent so many things, but it's also, it's like you would walk through fire. You would walk through hell itself to be with this person. And likewise, I think. Page of cups. The knight of wands. Yeah. You two are in pursuit of one another. Age of Swords, you've been watching each other too. Social media, asking friends about one another, just kind of checking in, driving by their work, whatever it is that you do, right? Five of Swords. I feel like this has kind of been a cat and mouse game is what I feel like. I feel like you're not on the same page at the same time, but you're, you're fixing to be, right? There's been like this, this runner chaser energy. And that's what I'm seeing as this uh, Five of Swords. We have the Queen of Cups. But there's a lot of love, regardless of who's chasing who or who's running from who. There, this, this is a lot of love. Page of Wands. Yeah, you guys have a bad for one another. 
love, lust, passion. Seven of Pentacles. What is the Seven of Pentacles? I think these were seeds that were planted in the past and they're finally um, ready to come to fruition, which means you two are finally to getting ready to come into union, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're walking away from whatever else you've been working on or running towards and you guys are finally um, coming into alignment. Leaving behind anything that doesn't serve you and go finally going towards one another. You know, could have been a relationship that you, you know, if you were in a relationship, both of you, one of you, leaving that behind, but also leaving that cat and mouse energy behind and finally coming into union. Nine of swords, because you can't take it anymore. <laughs> can't take it anymore. You have to be with your person. So here we have this four of wands right next to this chariot. Full steam ahead, right? Yep, six of pentacles. This could certainly be a wedding. The six of pentacles a lot of times for me is that um, those vows for richer, poorer, for better, for worse, in sickness and in health, right? And the four of wands certainly depicts uh, what looks like could be a wedding, right? Yeah, the tower. It's going to be a tower moment for sure, especially if you guys just show up at each other's door or whatever and are like 100% in it. Got this chariot here. You may even elope. I'm just saying, you may even elope. Ten of Cups, you may even elope. I like it. <laughs> All right, the Chariot and the Ten of Cups. I do, I see you eloping. Queen of Swords, there you are, Libra, the Libra Queen. Yep. This may have been what you've been dreaming of for a while. Interesting. Interesting. What is this Four of Cups? What's going on? King of Pentacles. This could be you. This could be who's coming towards you, but they, you know, whatever it is, this Four of Cups, um, they've just missed you and they're ready for this. They're not holding back anymore. Ten of Wands. It is weight, not being with you is weighed heavily on this person. Um, and that's what they're going to convey to you is that it's been miserable without you, whether you think so or not, whether there was any um, signs of that or not. And we have a Queen of Pentacles right here. Um, and I, I mean, I think this is, I think this is the same on both sides, especially with that kind of cat and mouse runner chaser energy. You know, you guys were on each other's minds all the time. What's this five of cups? Page of cups. This You guys miss each other and you never want to be apart again. That's just what I'm getting. It, it's like you never want to be apart again, which is why you may very well elope. I hear Vegas is nice this time of year. Five of pentacles. Yeah, you never want to miss this person or be away from this person again. You are saying that straight out. Them saying it to you, you saying it to them. Queen of Pentacles. I mean, we've got we've got a pair here. These are counterparts, King and Queen of Pentacles. Now we've got a King of Cups. But this is this person loves you. Here we have a pair. Queen of Cups. So now we've got two pairs. I mean, we're working our way to Emperor or Empress, right? Because the Emperor in, embodies all four kings, the Empress, all four queens. Okay. Anyway, but there's this, this Queen of Pentacles. Okay. The feminine energy has a lot of love for this masculine energy. So you'll know who that is based on your, and they could certainly have, you know, large placements in their chart. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this person doesn't ever want to be without you again, and vice versa. Two of Pentacles. What is this? What is this Two of Pentacles? The Fool. I feel like you guys are just deciding how to go forward. You're going to take a leap, and I think it's to, to, to elope, to get married. But it's like you're kind of weighing the options. You know, how should we do this? Should we care what other people think, or should we just do what we want? It's kind of one of those things. The two of cups. You're going to do what you want. 
Okay. It may not be with the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. It may not be eloping and getting married for everyone, but for a lot of you, that's the energy. Okay. But there's been a strategy all this time bringing you together. The universe has had a strategy to bring you together. Right. And I do feel like, um, you know, this is balance equal reciprocity with this king of swords energy to the queen of queen of swords. So we've got multiple pairs here, right? And this is a reunion. Okay. This is a reunion. There is no doubt. I'm telling you, I just feel like I feel very strongly. This is not going to resonate for everybody, but I feel like this is for a couple who have been apart for a while, maybe not even spoken to one another. Have, have been doing everything they can to stay away from one another. And every single day that that happens, this, this grows more and more and more. And here comes a tower moment, whatever that is for whomever it is, okay? And literally that tower moment happens, okay? And bam, all of a sudden, you're off. You're going to get married. That's what I got for you. All right, Libra, let me know. I'm loving it. Invite me to the wedding. Um, I like the beach. <laughs> All right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hashtag twin flame. And if you would like to book a personal reading, everything you need to know is in the description box below. And I'm sending you tons of love and light, something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. <laughs>